Hi there guys, I am Bo Lorenzen, the FPV guy. And as you know, I have been cruising around the CES show in Las Vegas this week. And I've been looking at different products. And one of the products I actually did not look at is the SMD Mirage. However, when I posted some other videos, I started getting a bunch of emails. So you guys asking is why I'm looking at this now. So I went over to talk to Edward the owner and as I now I understand why you guys want to know more about this because this is an interesting box really quickly what you're looking at here is it comes with either a regular camera or with a five time zoom camera and it's not a digital zoom it's an optical zoom so let me start with the camera because that's kind of the coolness the camera is right here it's a three axis gimbal you can see how that works just like anything else we're used to with the cameras, I think this one needs a quarter or something attached to balance it perfectly. But basically, this is what's unique. Look at the lens out here. And you have remote control of this lens, so you're able to zoom in and out. And we just did a test in here because my first word to Edward was, seriously, Edward, a lot of people have shown me a zoom and none of them works. And next thing you know, he cleared out the booth, put the thing up, popped it up in the air, and guess what? It worked. We were able to, from the middle of the booth, read people's badges outside the booth. So we zoomed in and was reading their badges. I am impressed. So far, the zoom camera is working. It has an SD, micro SD card on the back. But here is literally a five time optical zoom camera and on a three axis gimbal. Let's go back to the rest of the drone. Coming up right here, we already looked at the camera. Here the camera is in the collapsed position. When you turn it off, it goes in and shuts itself down just like a point and shoot camera does. But up on the front here, you will notice the two ultrasound obstacle avoidance. And it was really interesting to watch because when you push a hand up against it, you're literally gonna back up the drone. What that means is that imagine you are doing video of somebody on a bicycle and all of a sudden this person just stops and go, hey, look at me. Instead of this thing running into him, the drone is gonna stop. So you have an enormous amount of protection from the ultrasonic obstacle avoidance. The other place where this drone is probably gonna be particularly interesting is the inspection industry. While I have been here talking to Edward in the booth, there has been a steady stream of people doing oil rig inspections and railroad inspections. What they need is long range systems, and this system can go for 35 minutes and they need to be able to zoom in and looking at the zoom camera to be able to get a close-up of details. And the guy from the oil industry, what he really liked was the obstacle avoidance that allows him to fly up to an object and the drone is gonna stay there without him having to worry about it flying into and crashing with the object. So he can fly up onto an installation and then he can use the zoom camera to get a close-up look of the item from only five feet away. So for him, the main feature was the ability to park in front of it using the ultrasonic and then zooming in. And I was kind of like, wow, it will do that? So like I said, I'm slowly understanding why you guys are interested in it. It's an SMD product and it also comes with these monster motors. Let me show you a battery down here. Here's the battery. It has the usual features, the push and then hold to start it. And that's the battery I was telling you, the tech was constantly removing every time he handled the multi-rotor. And it is off right now, so I'm gonna take a chance since I'm not the tech. Pop it in right here. Oh, I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna unplug it. Because I just pushed the button. Now it is turned off and we can pop it in. Now it's installed correctly. I just really don't want these props to spin up next to my face. Up on top here for transport, you have a collapsible GPS antenna. It pops right down here by pushing this and you push it back down. Then you have the folding props and on the bottom you have the retractable landing gear and you have a full revolution either way of the camera. It is not slip ring so you cannot keep going but it's plenty to get an ongoing steady look at something and for instance having a separate camera operator control the camera while you are flying for an event. So that this is the one that I did not discover. You guys discovered it, and here it is. It's the Mirage from SMD, and fully loaded with the zoom camera. It's about $1,800 for the rig with the obstacle avoidance and five times zoom camera. It also is available with just a 1080p camera that looks like a GoPro. 
So you can kind of choose what you want. So here's the controller. It's a pretty full featured little controller. One of the cool things is that you can disarm it by pushing the disarm button, but you have to hold the stick down, push the disarm button, or you can use, after you disarm it, you can either fly it up using the stick, or you can use the one key start, just push one time and it's gonna pop in the air. Same way it has a lot one key land, so once you have returned to home, you can push the one key land and literally pop it back down, it's gonna land itself. You have the usual lights down here to tell you how long it's been flying. And up here you have the still camera and video camera controls. You have the retracts right here. So just pop this up and down. And over here you have the five times zoom. So that's like one of the main features right there, just like that. And where did it go? Here it is. Here on the left shoulder you have the pan of the camera and down underneath right here, you have the camera pitch. So while you're flying, you can reach it with a finger and you're able to pitch the camera while you zoom and while you fly. I'm not really a thumb pilot, I like to pinch. So for me being a pincher, it's a little harder, but I'm growing up and learning to be like you young kids and flying with my thumbs like you do on a game controller. So you guys just wait, I am gonna learn. Up on the top in the holder, you can put an iPad or an Android smart tablet or of course a smartphone of any brand, generally speaking, goes right on top here. So that is your full kit. The five-time optical zoom with obstacle avoidance and a nice traditional controller. I'm liking this and I am hoping we get to test flight in the near future. So more stuff coming up from CES. Do stay tuned and make sure you click on the subscribe button so that you will be notified right away as more stuff comes up from CES.